visible defense of the police and of law and order. Shootings, random shootings, shootings directed to the police, shootings directed to the JCF and military base at Upper Camp and other incidences of criminality. JBN will keep you informed. Dwight Nelson, former security minister, dies at 72. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Former Minister of National Security Dwight Nelson is dead. Nelson died at home last night, surrounded by family members. He was 72. Nelson, who held the national security portfolio during the May 2010 West Kingston massive operation to apprehend the strongman Christopher Dodoskog, had been ailing for some time. Nelson's death was confirmed a short while ago by a senior member of the governing Jamaica Labour Party, which he served in several capacities before walking away in 2015. In an interview when he left the political stage, Nelson described his time in politics, from his first appointment to the Senate in 1983, as being oftentimes controversial, but at all times satisfying. From sitting at Irish Town with Edith Nelson, Lady and Sir Alexander Bustamante, to visiting Sir Donald Sangster in Montreal, to being a confidant for Hugh Shero, a working associate for, associate for Edward Siaga and Bruce Dowling, and the Chief of Staff for Andrew Olness, said Nelson. A trade unionist by profession, Nelson also spearheaded the bipartisan approach in forging the first social partnership pact with the public sector workers. Noting that he functioned in the capacity of senior vice president of the Bustamante Industrial Trade Union, then as a director in the Matalon Group of Companies, and as minister with responsibility for the public service in the Minister of Finance, Nelson said, no other person has represented at managerial level, labor capital, and government. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Andrew Olness has described former government minister and trade unionist Dwight Nelson as someone who dedicated his life to the people of Jamaica. Holness, who is also the leader of the governing Jamaica Labour Party, said he is mourning the passing of a beloved brother and friend. He was a true friend and someone who was always willing to give of himself in the service of his country, Holness said in a series of posts on Twitter today. He was also Holness' chief of staff when he was the leader of the opposition. We are deeply saddened by his passing and extend our sincere condolences to his wife, children, family and friends, said Olness. Leader of the Opposition People's National Party, Dr. Peter Phillips, has expressed sadness at the passing of veteran trade unionist and former governor, government minister, Dwight Nelson. Phillips, in a statement this afternoon, said although he was aware of Nelson's illness, his passing comes as a shock to the party, as he, has been, as he had been active at the Industrial Disputes Tribunal, IDT, up until recently. For his service to Jamaica, Dwight will be greatly missed, particularly in the trade union movement, where his intellect and negotiating skills were highly respected on both sides of the negotiating table, Phillips said. Phillips lamented that Jamaica has lost a valuable son and extended is condolence on behalf of the PNP to Nelson's wife and the children, friends and his colleagues in the JLP and the BITU. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our